we all make choices in life, and some of them can be good, some of them can be bad. Take me for example. Idiot for brains uh, decided to put on the eyeliner, uh, especially after crying due to personal reasons. Um, yeah, he decided to put on the eyeliner before reacting to Ruby. Which, given the last episode, might not be considered a good idea. But I've never been one for smart choices anyway, so... Yeah, but um, yeah, hello everyone, Liam Caddison here, and we are reacting to the final episode of Ruby Volume 8. It's, it, it is sad, the fact that we are about to embark on the post-Ruby sadness, I guess, that I mentioned in the other episode. Um, but there's a lot of weight uh, into this episode with what happened last time out, which... Like I said, I choose not to, um, I choose not to believe regarding, uh, what happened to Yang. I made my theories clear and I am sticking by that because I will be taking Kruby to court if Yang is dead. Like, you can't do that to my favourite character, you can't, but we shall just have to wait and see. But like I said, I, um, I've stated my theories regarding what, um, Yang and her fall could mean and, uh, where we could lead to volume nine. Um, I'm not ready. I am not ready for this, but we've all got to make that great leap. And, uh, Yang took it a few too many. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm so bad. I I'm so sorry to ever, uh, like, I've even hurt myself by saying that, but to any of the Yang fans, I am so sorry. So, and it it wasn't even a good joke as well. So, uh, I've been having a rough like twenty four hours. So just bear with me, okay? This is the final episode of Ruby Volume Eight. <sighs> Let's go. Uh, do do do. Okay. Usually when I press the space bar, it plays, but... Then again, I have um, reset my um, PC because it's been on the fritz recently, so... Yeah, that might be the reason why. It's kind of sad because as well as the fact that this is the last episode of Ruby Volume 8, this is the last time we're going to get this amazing, beautiful intro. But I'm sure Volume 9 is probably going to up the ante. Because this has been my favourite intro of um, all, volume, all of the volumes of Ruby. It's just beautiful, the music, the visuals, everything. I'm really, really nervous going into this episode with what happened to Yang. Because there is a part of me that's like, I know your theory is wrong, Liam. But in what direction are they going to take this in? Because they could really shatter your heart. See, Yang fell first. I'm holding on to that theory, but Yang fell first. Everyone else is falling. Team Ruby is falling, okay? Just got to get that out there before we do delve into this episode. Man, the carcass of the driven way. Oh, she's coming back, isn't she? She's coming back, isn't she? Come on, Winter. No, Winter, do not blame me. I made the wrong choices, buddy. No! You have sacrificed everyone else! You 
closed the borders. You squeezed mantle until it broke. Come on, come on, Winter. And Tim. I have only done what's best for Remnant. And no one is grateful. Ooh, oh. Come on, Penny. I'm just really nervous with Penny because what I said in the last episode. Nice. Priority one. Weiss. All she's ever wanted is the maiden power. I can buy you all time. But Penny. Penny's got that heart, especially with her being who she is right now. I'm right here. I'm what you want. Penny. I want it all. Come on, Blake. Get Finish. Up. Finish with the young. Come on, Crow! You're making a mistake, Harriet! What happened to Clover? I Shut up already! I mean, she said she could take Crow, but here we are. I want Crow to... Get out of the way! Here, please! Don't do this! They're still evacuating in Mantle! Why can't you just let me do my because you're our friend! And we won't let you go through with this! Oh, that's really, really powerful given no. the Aesops. <laughs> Crow! Crow, go on! Oh! oh. <laughs> he's still here, even if he's not. Okay. Oh no! Crescent Rose! The Looks lost. like it's fist we up. Go. There's no time to make it out of the blast range. I've killed us all. I'm sorry. I feel like just with Clover. The hook. No, it means saving Fine. my friends. Fine. No, 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 buddy. No, not, not another one. No. Fuck. That's what Clover would have done. F Holy. Oh my God. Fine. Respect goes out to you, buddy. I hope it was worth it. <gasps> wow! Yeah, she's taking this for Yag. You should have never threatened me. Oh! Should have never been born. 
Holy shit! We were so worried about Neo betraying Cinder, but Cinder was just like, Oi! Oh! Like... They've gotta be in the past, right? They gotta they gotta stand to my fairy. May, Joanna, any huntsman that went through that gate, bring him here. Well, this is the only one standing. That a Shnee would be the last one standing. Letting all her friends die first. Oh my god. You Come wouldn't on, know anything about friends. Penny! I'm really worried about Penny. Like, she's gonna die, isn't she? Especially because Cinder needs the win. She's back. No, 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 Penny. No. <laughs> no, Penny. 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 Sean, heal. My semblance. No. There's not enough time to heal me. She can't get the staff and the power. But there no. is something you can do. No, Wait. I, I don't know where the others are, but why still give us time? Wait, who's she gonna give the... This one thing. Trust me. Is she... Uh, there's a part of me that's thinking, is she gonna give her... Oh. I don't... I don't like this. I don't like in her wives. Who did she choose? Oh, Penny. <laughs> oh, Penny. Where... What is this? I thought of you. And here we are. Oh! Oh! Penny. She thought of Winter as the Winter Maiden! It should be you. It was your power, after all. No, Penny. You were always the real Wait. maiden at heart. I was just a machine. Just following orders. You were my friend. Oh, Penny! <laughs> Thank you for trusting me with this. When you're <sighs> gone. I won't be gone. I'll be part of you. Good. I'm glad. Oh, Penny. Of course, it had to be winter. So, the destiny I chose for you has arrived. You chose nothing. This was a gift. Go on, winter! Waste him! Winter! Oh, and it's like the queen you are! Oh no, oh, oh my goodness. This is it, he's cut. 
<laughs> Look at her shine! It's not all about you! It is not all about you! Oh, wow. Come on, Winter. This is it. Cinder thought she'd won. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Is wife going to be... No, Weiss is Weiss! Weiss! They're all fallen! Team Ruby have all fallen! No! Right, they've got to be in the past. They've got to be. They've got to be, right? And this! Winter. You are going to pay for everything you've done. <sighs> oh, it's going to be so close. Couldn't get close. Oh no, Jean! Jean's fault! What the f? Didn't they count for Jean falling? What is this? What if Jean is separated from T Rub? Winter the Winter Maiden. I'm surprised. Oh no. 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 You again, Master. They used the staff to save thousands. Before our allies fell, Neapolitan killed Ruby. And before Ruby and her teammates fell, they used the lamp's final question. I, I couldn't stop them. I couldn't even stop the maiden from escaping without putting the relics in jeopardy. I'm. I'm sorry. Pursuit of a new world, no cost is too great. You've done well, Cinder. I was gonna say sh Our work she's got here is done. Two prizes. Two out of four. You said they used the staff. I assume you rid the world of their creation. James. What did you create in its stead? I merely added more flames to the fires of Atlas. Oh my god. Oh my god, when that, Cinder. And that's checkmate. Oh, and this is it. He's going to be living with this failure for all of his... Here we are! My toe is gone. He's calling out to Ruby! Oh! Oh my goodness! I 
I need, I need, I need, no, I need, I need a sit rep on Team Ruby. I need a sit rep on Team Ruby. And John as well, because he felt. Under one. I mean, she didn't get the Winter Maiden um, ability, but Salem's more than oppressed anyway, so. <sighs> Honestly, I thought Cinder was going to get the Winter Maiden ability to add one to the collection, but the fact that Penny chose Winter very, very apt was amazing. I'm sick. Of course, I'm sticking around for the after credits. Uh, like, I need to hold out on hope, but yeah. Worst fears come true. Mantle gets. Yeah, but at least everyone is. Unless someone missed a memo, of course. Uh, everyone is out. <sighs> Volume 9 is going to be very interesting because we've got three separate things. Maybe four if Sean's separate from Team Ruby, but I don't think he will be. Well, there's there's four anyways because you got Salem Co. you got Vacuo. you got Crow and the Aesops. Vine with that sacrifice was really noble. And you got Team Ruby, because I <laughs> like imagine if this was it. Like this is this is Team Ruby's end. We're gonna continue Ruby without Team Ruby. And I am absorbing the music, but um Yeah. I want to give a shout out to everyone who has made, especially with 2020 being a very difficult year. A shout out to Kruby, to Kerry, to everyone for their hard work in making, especially with this volume being one of my favorite volumes. Um, but in general, just a shout out to all of Team Kruby who has done a marvelous job at creating a wonderful uh, volume, so yeah. I'm just nervous. I am just, just nervous. But yeah. And a shout out to. I guess the cat crew as well, who are tuning into Ruby as well, um, for your support. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, like I said, with 2020 being the year it was, and everyone more or less working from home, um, yeah, a shout out to Kruby and, um, their efforts in making sure that they concluded this volume of Ruby on a solid manner, and they did. I love this music though, like it's really beautiful. Which is You know, it, it it's eerie given the vibe of the finale, so
just processing this episode because Penny Vine. Come on, come on, come on, give me this. Give me. Yeah! Oh my goodness! Crescent. Are they more so for when rather than. No, you can't! No, you can't end like that! You cannot end like that. <laughs> oh no! You could have us speculating for at least October, November. You, you dicks. You dicks. Wow. Wow. Hello, I'd like to call uh, my lawyers to crew me for doing that to me. So, can you arrange a court meeting? Wow. I was expecting Team Ruby to wake up and, um, well, this is it though. We, we at least acknowledge some semblance that Team Ruby have survived because Crescent Rose fell. And with us seeing that on that very pristine beach, um... We can take acknowledgement, uh, acknowledgement on the fact that um, everyone else survived if Crescent Rose survived. So, unless, you know, falling through, like falling doesn't equate to um, living material, but... I think we get the memo because I think a lot of it, like everyone of Team Ruby fell. We're not going to have Ruby... It's just going to be interesting how they're going to tease us, though, because... <sighs> like I said, I speculate they're in the past. And I feel like um, the warning that Team Ruby was given was more so not about... Was more so about warning them about not falling because they'd be lost in the space-time continuum. Rather than, if you fall, you're dead. That's it. Game over. I'm just insulted that Kruby have just done us dirty like... Wow. Carrie? I, don't, I, I mean, the Kruby team are not going to be watching this, but... If anyone of the crewby is watching this, I'll be seeing you on court on Monday. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that was rude. I, and this is it, though. I feel like they knew what they were doing. And they're like, let's let's uh, push the boat out there a bit further. And uh... as Vision once said, I'm not amused. I don't need this. I, d I don't need this. Kruby will be, will be, um, what I need to do is after this, I'm going to try to find the, um, bit. I think it was last volume where Penny said it'll be like Beacon all over again. It was Beacon times 10. Because we had Vine dying with that sacrificial move. We have... PTSD for the next volume, especially with Crow thinking that Ruby, uh, everyone is dead of Team Ruby. Um, Jean living with the fact that he had to kill, like, even if it if, if it's the right move, because that's it, though. Like, in my mindset, Penny did a, uh, like I said, people call it a uh, 4D chess move from Penny, because... Rather than it going to Cinder, she made sure that it would go to Winter, which is, like I said, very apt. Winter, the Winter Maiden. Um, 
as well as the fact that a lot of us speculated that it would go to winter, but Penny got it. And uh, yeah, but still, it doesn't diminish the fact that Jean has to live with that guilt. Like I said, another wet redhead has um, died on his watch. So he just never has it. Like, just keep, it, keep him away from Nora, okay? Oh, well, I mean, that, that really doesn't matter, does it? given the fact that that was a surprise, because, like, I theorised that all of Team Ruby would fall. I didn't account for Jean. Or Neo. Like, I expected all of Team Ruby, and that would be it. Not those two, though. But my speculation is... Is it going to be, like, spoilers for Umbrella Academy, by the way? Um, So skip ahead, like, ten seconds, because I won't speculate this like too much but is it going to be like umbrella academy where they're separated through different strands of time or whatever i don't know my main worry is that <sighs> team ruby fell and they're going to be together but then there's jean and neo and um they're going to be in different points um, in terms of Team Ruby, and I don't know, maybe <laughs> it sounds an orthodox, but I don't know, it just crept up in my mind, like maybe Neo and Jean have to team up to find a way back? <laughs> I mean, stranger things have happened. Like, I didn't expect Penny to ask Jean to kill her. I expected Penny to die because Cinder would absolutely annihilate her. I came into this with my theories set in motion. All of Team Ruby would fall, Penny would die, Cinder would come out on top. And they were pretty much there for the most part. But um, the execution was, um, I guess, subverted because Cinder didn't get the uh, Maiden ability. Penny died, but she asked Jean to end, um, Jean to end um, her life. And... Yeah, Team Ruby fell, but also so did Jean and Neo, so... Oh, I... I need Volume 9. Because I need to know what's going to go on with Cinder, because she played everyone. She made herself her own master. And I'm... Uh, am I right in thinking that she finished off Watts? Because I wasn't expecting that, and it was very abrupt, the fact that... Oh, Watts is dying uh, in that room. Because I was thinking, wait, I was very, very confused when we saw um, Watts screaming in that room. Because I was like, wait, hmm? Nani? Um, but this is revenge, especially after the lecture that Watts gave her, so... It's just, I mean, this is it though. Ruby keeps surprising me because like I said, I came into this episode with expectations. Penny's dead, Team Ruby would fall, Cinder's gonna win. But they did it in such a unique manner in a way that I never theorized. I theorized that Penny would kill, would be killed by Cinder and Cinder would, you know, get the Winter Maiden ability to, like she would be collecting the ability like Thanos um, does with the stones. But that wasn't the case. And we had that very touching moment. And it was very, very suitable as well. Like, Winter. The Winter Maiden. And the way she just... Like, I thought she ended James for a second. And then James is just surviving. But the fact that he has to die with that knowledge that he failed everything is just nice. Um, Just the way she came on to the, to the main battlefield was just power. But I'm really... This is it, though. Next volume, PTSD. Because Crow... Ruby and Yang are dead in his eyes. Weiss is dead in um, Winter's eyes. Yeah. And this is why it's a lot more worse than Beacon. Because at least... We were very, very ambiguous with Oz, um, Ozpin, should I say? Um, and we were wondering what's happened with him. 
We know what happened with Pyrrha and we were very traumatized with that. And this is it though. We know that Team Ruby have survived. Otherwise, we're coming into Volume 9 with Volume 9 of Juniper, I guess. I don't well, not even Juniper because Jean. Yeah, so Pana. <laughs> um like but like I said, we, we are coming into Volume 9 expecting that Team Ruby survived, especially with Crescent Rose landing in that beach. Unless um, inanimate objects can survive and living uh, material cannot. But like I said, um, you know, the likelihood that all of Team Ruby are dead. Because this is what I've been thinking about. Um, it would be such a bold move for Kruby to kill off one of the members of Team Ruby. It would be very, very bold. And I'm not sure if they would do it. And I feel like this is the closest they can get to getting away with that, if that makes sense. But also, yeah, getting away with that because um, they were warned, do not fall. Yang fell and um, we were all very, very heartbroken with the fact that um, Yang could be dead, but I didn't believe it. I mean, there might be a side of me that was like, I'm not going to choose to believe it because Yang's my favorite character and I'm not going to accept this. That's it. I'm not accepting this. Um, there is that in mind, but they couldn't kill off Yang. And then we saw Ruby and Blake fall and I'm like, okay, so they are definitely in the past, right? Or somewhere else. They could be in another point other than Vacuo, but... I think it makes more sense, especially with the summer teasers, that they're in, they're in the past. And the reason why they're warned to not fall is not because, oh, you'll just be in a random place in the world. It's It'll be fine. Even if it's in the ocean, you can swim, right? It's not because of that, but because they're going to be lost in the space-time continuum. And we all know how, like, timey-wimey things can be very, very, um, difficult. So, it will be very, very tricky to have Team Ruby and Jean and Neo if she makes it that far, I guess. It will be very difficult to get them back to everyone else. Because timey-wimey. So, that's why I'm thinking... Do not fall means you're going to be lost in the space-time continuum. And we don't know. And and I think with, um, what's his name? He doesn't know where. <laughs> My glasses were like. Um, he doesn't know where they will land. Or should I say when they will land. Um, it could be at the end of time for all he knows. But it, it's, it's kind of like a randomization of the vortex like you could land at a certain point but i feel like um i don't know it would be very very i don't know i'm I'm stretching things a bit far and i'm aware of that but i'm saying when yang fell it would be very very poignant if she thought of summer and then thus because i i'm certain i am 100 percent certain that team ruby have landed to a point where summer was alive and there they can get some kind of um but not intended semblance on how to defeat salem because i'm holding on to that theory and you know people can speculate like I i'm always um very very admirable in terms of when it comes to people speculating their own theories but i will not be discoursed from my theory because i feel like with the summer teasers with everything with the model of summer as well that we saw at the end of volume six was it that we are going to get summer we like I, i'm certain we're going to get summer and not in a way that okay well we're going to take our eyes off team ruby if that makes sense like like team ruby are going to go on a hiatus for a year instead we're going to um focus on summer in her younger years as well as um ty 
Rave, Raven, Crow. We're going to focus on them in their younger years. Um. <laughs> oh man, I'm just seeing the replies because I I actually did post the um. It'll be like Beacon all over again, me. But uh, I'm I'm being hunted for blood. So yeah, but um. Yeah, there we go. Um. Just minimizing that. Sorry, it's just that something was um in the way. But um, as I was saying, yeah, I feel like this is a way they can like skirt around, focus on summer without detracting from Team Ruby, if that makes sense. Um. So, yeah, I am certain that theory is going to stand tall, but we shall wait and see. But um, yeah, um, I've been speaking about like 20 minutes because there's just a lot to unpack and there's just a lot of emotions that is processing and I'm not okay. Vine died in a very sacrificial way. And speaking of that PTSD that I mentioned about earlier, that's going to be playing on Harry because she's been very hot headed this volume. And there came that rationality and seeing what Vine did and I feel like with Clover's death, that really affected her. And seeing what Vine did, uh, it's kind of it's going to kind of shake things up a bit because I feel like with Clover's death, that made her a bit more um, aggressive, I guess. But with a nice talking to and um, Vine's sacrifice, I feel like she's going to be a bit more um, emotional coming into Volume Nine. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Cinder. Yeah, she won. I expected her to win, but not like that. Like I didn't I didn't expect her to not get the Winter Maiden ability, but she's playing everyone. She fried Watts and um she's she's uh playing on to Salem as well, so <sighs> And that move from Crow, though, when... Honestly, I thought he was going to throw the pin to kind of stop the bomb. Which wouldn't be too implausible, given that Clover and good luck. Yeah. But I thought he was going to throw it to stop the bomb. And, um, I mean, didn't matter in the end, because Mantle is under the sea. So, yeah. Well, so is Atlas as well, because that came... <sighs> but it went a lot better than I expected, because I expected people to still be on Mantle, and then, and, um, then uh, them being pancaked. So I guess it went a lot better. Still doesn't really... Um... Yeah, it still doesn't diminish the darkness that this finale presented so yeah but um yeah honestly i thought that when uh, that penny was going to give the winter maiden ability to jean which you know wouldn't be too implausible because what comes after fall what comes uh, pira fall what comes after fall jean so but like you said i think it's very more poignant that winter the winter maiden comes around um, especially with the fact that we all assumed last volume that Winter was getting that ability, but Penny, um, took one and, um, yeah, and sadly, that's it though. Like I said, I, I, um, sadly speculated that when, uh, that Penny was going to die, but I thought Cinder would completely end her and then take in the ability. So the way that they subverted that and made Jean kill her as well as potentially exploring that in volume 9 with Jean and PTSD is really great because that way Cinder can still win but she doesn't get all of the eggs in one basket if that makes sense so <sighs> I just I'm, I'm, I just yeah I'm glad that we're ending things here. 
But then there's like My Hero Academia that I've got to check out. Attack on Titan Season 4. So the pain doesn't stop there, folks. And of course, everything else that I'm watching, like Buffy Season 6, watching that, that's going to be fun. Um, the Good Place is all joyful and whatnot. Um, once Upon a Time, I'm sure that's going to hurt me in some capacity. Kill off Captain Hook, just do it because I'm a, as the internet says, I'm a simp for him. So, um, so yeah, it might be a good point that this is on a bit of a break, but the pain, like I said, the pain doesn't stop there, especially with, you know, me getting into like two more shows, I guess, with Attack on Titan and My Hero Academia. Because I'm sure My Hero Academia is going to break me. Season 4 was really tragic. Um, well, the first half. The second half was like, woo! Um, but Attack on Titan is nothing but tragic. So, like, when is there happy moments in Attack on Titan? Beats me. But, um, yeah, I'm rambling, so... I guess we'll end things here. But like I said, it was a really great way to cap things up with Volume 8. Kudos to Kerry, to Miles, to everyone who contributed in this volume. Because not only has times been, like I said, difficult with uh, COVID. And uh, there's been a lot, of, uh, a lot more work put into this volume. But also because this volume has just been killing it. It's just been an amazing, an amazing volume um like i said in the last episode one of my favorite volumes of ruby of all time um maybe behind slightly behind volume three and that's a really really um good thing because volume three was just insane um and it was like another level so to have volume eight be so close to that like touching distance is really incredible and the Kruby have done a really fantastic job um i know they of course didn't write volume 8 during the pandemic but there is more to work than you know the script writing there's the animation uh, and that's why you know not just kerry and not just smiles but all of team uh all of the Kruby deserves a round of applause for the effort that they have put in during this difficult time so yeah um but yeah i will see you guys next time um hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my movie feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles <laughs>